All right, here we have a background that's been locked as we've already discussed, character that's been made also covered. Let's see what happens if I press play. All right, as you probably worked out, what we have here, if I click on this guy, go to build order, we've got a move in and we've got a bounce and that's exactly what happened. We've set it over here to do it after the previous build so it all works automatically. Now there was a time I'm ashamed to say when I thought you could have one build in and action and only one build out. So I had this elaborate scheme of how to copy this slide and then have them do things. But in actual fact, all you need to do is when you're in the action, animate action tab, just click on add action and make something else happen. I can move it again, grab him, move him down here maybe, add another action, have him bounce up and down again. And I can just do the animation as simply as that. And then, uh, let's add another one. No, actually right here, we're gonna have him as you saw in the earlier one, jiggle, cause he's scared this time. Go back to build order. I'm gonna uh, click and then shift click and then all of them are gonna happen after the previous build. Now let's see what it looks like. Easy as pie, once again. Save yourselves a lot of trouble that I didn't save myself until I had this pointed out to me actually in a session I was leading. If you're in action, you can just add another action 